Hi, I'm George, and in this Photoshop Elements Clone Stamp tutorial, we'll be using the Clone Stamp tool to remove this person in the background. Go from this to that. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share and subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, check out my channel for hundreds more Photoshop Elements videos, and take a look at my complete training for Photoshop Elements, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. I just reset the image here to fit inside of the screen. And then let's remove this copy up here. And there's the original picture. Now we're going to be changing the pixels in our picture right here. And as a safety, I want to do this on a new layer. So go to the background layer, right click where it says background and choose duplicate layer and OK. There's a duplicate layer. I'm going to hide that background there. That's my safety. Just in case we mess things up, we can always go back there and try again from that original. Now we'll be using the clone stamp to remove this person. So let's first zoom in on that. Grab the zoom tool here and I'll just zoom in nice and tight so we can see that. There we go. That's pretty good. Get them centered on our screen. That's nice. Okay, the clone stamp tool is right here. Now there are two tools, the clone stamp and the pattern stamp. We won't be using the pattern stamp, so let's stick with the clone stamp tool. Down here you have the brushes and sample all layers. This is useful if we're working with multiple layers. Right now we're not, so it doesn't matter if this is checked or not. On the brushes, click on that. This brings up your brushes in here. It's set for default brushes, but you can choose any brush that you want if you have a need to. Most of the time, we'll be sticking with just the standard round brush. Now the top set in here on the default brushes, these are all hard edge brushes. You can see that right there. Normally when you're working with the clone stem tool, you want to have a soft edge brush and not a hard edge brush. There's your soft edge brushes right down here. You want to see that kind of a fuzzy edge. This will help it to blend in better onto the picture when we're doing our clone stamping. The size here is your brush size. You can see that's my brush size right there. That's a 55 pixel on this picture. Opacity, 100%. That's what you normally want to do when you're working with the clone stamp tool. You want to be replacing whatever it is with complete solid image over here. Sometimes you may want to have less of an opacity if you're doing other kind of special effects work. But most of the time, if you're doing this kind of a repair or replacement, you want this at 100%. And your mode should always be normal. If you need mode changes, that's a whole different thing. And that's better done actually over in the layers menu as opposed to being here in the clone stamp tool. Now here where it says aligned and clone overlay, let me show you both of these. First off, here's how the tool works. You take the tool, you can see it right there. And then you choose a spot you want to copy from. Let's say I wanted to copy from this horizon up here. I'll just do it over here. Hold the Alt key down. You get this little kind of a crosshair icon. Come right down to where you want to copy from and click. Let go of the Alt key and it then copies that. Now, if I move this up, notice how we're seeing that horizon up here inside of that brush. You can see how it kind of fades off on the edges. The fade off part, that's the soft edge brush. Being able to see it, that's the clone overlay. Now, I'm gonna do it up here, just kind of a, a bad, messy thing, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, if I begin to paint right here, you can see that plus sign right down there on the horizon. That's the copy from spot, and where you're seeing it up in the sky, that's the copy to spot. See how they're linked together? If I move my paintbrush circle there, that plus also moves. That's the aligned part of it right down here. What that does is it copies from a section that stays the same distance away as you move it along on your image. If this was unchecked, the plus sign would stay in the same spot and it would be copying from the same spot. You normally don't want to have that. Now down here, the clone overlay, this is what we're seeing right up there. That's the clone overlay that we're seeing. Normally you want that at 100%. You normally want to have that clipped. You can then get the best view of that. You can auto hide that. It's more confusing to use it that way. If you invert the overlay, it comes in as a negative. That's also more confusing that way. So in reality, I never change these settings in here at all. So mine always is aligned and this is always left with the default settings. Okay, I'll use the control Z key and just undo all that stuff. Now what I usually will do here is I'll work from one side and then the others, I kind of go back and forth and meet in the middle someplace. You don't always have to do that but it tends to make it a little bit better match. Okay, so hold the Alt key down, get that target, find a spot you want to copy from, find something which is easy to match, like this horizon, and click with the mouse, let go of the Alt key, and there's the overlay, you can see that. I can now move that over here and find a spot where that exactly matches, like right there. Hold the mouse down and begin painting in, and I can then paint that over. That's why you want to find that alignment so you can easily match that up and it really hides it. Let's do the water up here, do the top of the water. Same thing, Alt key, there's my target. Click right there, pull that over and see there it is. I'll pull it down and match that up and then paint in a little bit. Same thing further down here. Let's come down to this section down here. 
Alt key, I'll grab up a spot. Maybe right over here. I'll bring that in and match that in. And then paint in. There we go. Okay, let's come down to this section down here. Same thing. Alt key. Find a spot that you can match easily. Click and let go. See, there is the overlay. And I'll match that in right there. And I'll take out that leg. Okay, same thing from the right-hand side. I'll just grab the top of the water right there. And I'll match that in here. And I'll paint in from this side. Okay, come right down to here. And paint that in right there. Come over to here. And match that in. The bottom line right here. Match that in. And let's now do the sand. Go right here. Alt-click. Match the sand. Paint that in. Left-hand side. Alt-click. Match the sand and paint that in. Looks pretty good except for maybe right there. I'll just take a little bit right here and then just kind of put it on top of that. And that looks pretty good. Okay, see how we did. I'll grab the zoom tool back to fit screen. And there we go. We've removed that background surfer very quickly and very easily just by using that clone stamp tools. There's the before and there's the after. Before and after. And there it is. That's how you use that clone stamp tool. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Click on share. Click on subscribe. Hit that bell icon, of course. Check out my channel for hundreds more Photoshop elements, training videos, and if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop elements, look for my complete training course, and there's a link right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.